I'm going to show you the road design module in SERPAC. What I'm going to start with is a very simple topography and a center line of the inflection points of the road. Based on the inflection points, I can design the horizontal alignment of the different curves. SERPAC will recognize the inflection points as curves and for each one I can set independent vehicle velocities. And SERPAC will come up with a super elevation and transition lengths for each of the curves. The next step is to drape that segment over the surface topography. Once that's done, we have to extract a longitudinal profile of that center line. It will take the center line and unfold it to a single plane. And in this plane, we can design our vertical inflection points. All of SERPAC's CAD tools are available during the drafting of that center line. Next step is to create the vertical curves. For each curve that SERPAC recognizes, we get to input the length of the curve. Once this is done, then we simply have to combine the vertical longitudinal profile in the lower window with the curve in the upper window. When that's done, we now have a perfectly valid road center line adjusted for horizontal curves and vertical curves. Now, what I'm going to do is build the actual road from the center line. I'm going to take the road and apply a width to it. Now we have a road outline. This road outline can be projected up and down to the surface topography. Different angles for cut and fill can be used. And now we have essentially the intersection of the road with the surface. We now build a surface from the road and trim that surface using the road outline. This is now the surface that represents the roadway, including fill areas and cut areas. Here we have it together with the surface topography that is semi-transparent. And these two surfaces together can be used for sexual.